Someone had a stroke at my job Thursday and died. The company hasn't said done a damn thing. This guy was swiping his badge to get into the second door when he become visually impaired and fell over. Help was called by the security who saw all of this and left the man there until my supervisor. The only one out of three supervisors who is trained to deal with such situations came and tried to intervene. I walked out and saw all the ambulances and my supervisor crying and she drove away on her go-kart. Back to her desk. He died. There has been no meeting. No mention of the incident. No fundraiser for his funeral. No moment of silence. Nothing at all. This guy was there for years production hasn't stopped one fucking second to honor this man with it being the last place he physically drove to. Fuck these companies they don't give a shit about you or me. You can die on their property and they won't even take the time to acknowledge your death no matter how good of an employee you are. It's vile. Take as much time away from work as you want. Get fired if you have to cause when it's your time it's your time. They don't give a fuck so why should we? Most companies will write the help wanted ad before the sympathy card. We had an employee die of a heart attack at our sister store. Which is only a couple of doors down. Everything that was done was initiated by the nice ladies at the front counter. Upstairs never even mentioned it to us. This guy had worked there a long time. We all knew him even though he wasn't from our location. The company acted like it was just another Tuesday. Your place of employment has no interest in you after you die. They are planning on posting his her job. Modifying job descriptions and pay. That's why I give my work the minimum required. When you're laying in your casket they are not going to walk up and say wow I'm glad they stayed. Late and came in early all those years. Dude a few years ago a guy had some kind of medical emergency and was out cold in the break room. I'm pretty sure he passed out due to low blood sugar but he ended up being okay. One guy got ridden up and another guy fired because they were caught on camera literally walking over him. It wasn't anything the company did specifically those two guys were assholes but when you foster a culture where people are afraid of wasting one of their two 15 minutes breaks in a 12 hour shift, there is something to be said about that. My husband had a stroke early in his workday. The company cancelled his health insurance when he was in the ambulance being transferred to another hospital. They are calculating the lawsuit probability. They do not care. I wish PPL posting I feel guilty for resigning would stop it. Employers don't care. Quit. Your loss. My coworker had a heart attack right before I was coming into work. He was on the stretcher. Headed out to the ambulance when I passed him in the hall. I was shocked but managed to say to him. Hang in there buddy and I patted him on the shoulder as they wheeled him by. It was the last I saw him. He was probably already dead when I saw him. Makes me sad. He was a good guy. Thus happened at my job a couple weeks ago. One of the circuit supervisors passed away at home and we found out the next day. I work for the federal government and we are considered essential. They sent us an email about using mental health services and that's really it. No pause in operation or anything. The show must go on. We couldn't even all go to his funeral because the circuit couldn't function without us. It's so sad to that it ends up that way. Ah that just reminded me of a gentleman I used to work with. They worked and ran him ragged making him stay later come in early etc etc. Until he got cancer and even then they still drug him in beanie and all for inventory. After he left I never heard anyone talk about him anymore. No updates no card nothing. It was really sad to witness. This happened at my office. Very large fortune 500 company. Man had flown in from another site. And was going to be at our site for about a week. 
He swiped in at 4 a.m. and went to the small conference room he was using as an office. Had a massive heart attack. And wasn't discovered until hours later after he missed a conference call. No acknowledgement at all. I never even learned his name. We are taking up a monetary collection from all employees for the unexpected departure of Smith. Robert so we can place a job opening in the local paper. It's what Eid 0894451 would have wanted. Corporate. Several years ago, a co-worker of mine keeled over while we were all on the phones. Heart attack. The only people allowed to stop what they were doing were the one that called 911 and the two. Administering CPR. The rest of us were told to keep taking calls while EMTs came and carted her off. The two CSRs that stopped because they were crying for a stern talking to and written up. They don't want humans. They want robots. They don't care about you and the ad to hire your replacement will be published before your obituary. They're too busy writing the posting for his vacancy. Which they probably won't even fill. That's so sad. WTF. At one position I was at. They decided to squish two of us into one person cubicles. My cube mate. A nice gal. Disclosed she had a heart condition and had a running deal with anyone she was seat mates with. That if she became incapacitated. I was to wheel her to the elevator and out of the building because she didn't want to die in the building. I thought she was being funny or dramatic. Nope. Totally serious. I work in a pretty big estate in UK and a few weeks ago someone that worked there for 25 years committed suicide at his accommodation there. The company set up counseling and people for us to talk to. They were there for two weeks and sent an email out to everyone explaining what happened and funeral details. I thought it was very well handled. No company cares about its employees really. We are all just a number to them and can easily be replaced. They probably already had his job posted up on Indeed or elsewhere before the paramedics came. That's how it is at least in the US anyway. That's heartbreaking. Please, employers reading this, don't be like this. Remember we are humans. A co-worker of mine once put her car off the road trying to get to work in a snowstorm. She called in to tell them what happened and that she was just turning around and going home when the tow truck came and they told her she was expected to come to work and if she didn't show she was fired. She quit on the spot and went home. As she should. Hopefully they'll pay out his accrued PTO. The goal of capitalism is to reduce all human interaction to the cash nexus. Some companies even take out life insurance policies on their employees. With the company as the beneficiary. Cash in that check as quietly as possible. I watched this happen at my company. Guy worked there for 20 years died and the company said they are not allowed to donate cuz if they. Did it for one they'd have to do it for all. How lovely. What does this say about our civilization or what it means to live? Only the rich actually get to enjoy this existence. We had a colleague sadly die in a road traffic collision. Not only did the company completely ignore her death, but on the day of her funeral, our area manager posted a self-congratulatory memo on our internal website stating what a fantastic quarter it had been. It was grotesque. Thankfully, I eventually got out of that rotten company. But I learned a valuable lesson in how we are merely viewed as replaceable chattel in these toxic corporate settings. I work at a supermarket. An elderly worker had a heart attack and fell into the tomato display. Customers were angry that he was in the way and inconveniencing them. So they continued to reach over his dead body while we were waiting for the ambulance. Working with the public has made me lose all faith in humanity. They will post the ad for your job before your body is cold. 